It's no surprise that Jodie Whittaker is stepping down as the 13th iteration of Abandoned Alien Space Baby after her next series of Wonderment, but it's a bit surprising that Chibs is stepping down too. I know what you're all thinking. It's over. It's finally over. Well, I wouldn't get your hopes up. This is the modern BBC, and they hate us. If nothing else, I could see them bringing in something even worse. But I guess we can rejoice a bit in the headline, Doctor Who, Jodie Whittaker and Chris Chibnall to leave in 2022. But... I wouldn't be celebrating, because, as I've already said, these two and their fans have damaged this franchise beyond repair. Jodie Whittaker is to step down from the lead role in Abandoned Diverse Alien Space Baby, the BBC has confirmed. The first woman to play Abandoned Diverse Alien Space Baby, which is all they can say at this point, will bow out in autumn 2022, along with showrunner Chris Chibnall. Who knows if this was Chib's decision or not? I mean, yes, his tenure has been a failure on every single level, but the BBC doesn't really care about success anymore, and it seems that his mission was to completely destroy this long-running franchise and well, there's nothing more he could really do in that regard, so maybe this was his plan. Whitaker will star in a new six-part series later this year. Yep, they've had two years, and they could only come up with six episodes, and three specials next year, which will be another grueling year of hard work before she exits. It seems they are trying to pull a David Tennant here. Well, sorry, dear, but you are not David Tennant. You are so not David Tennant. In a statement, Whitaker paid tribute to Chibnall, who cast her because he was too lazy to cast anyone he hadn't worked with before, and it seems she shared his twisted ideological worldview anyway. And the Doctor Who team, of diversity, but it seems very little talent, adding, I will carry the abandoned diverse alien space baby and the lessons I've learned forever, and the show will never recover from the scars you left behind. Actually, it's worse than scars. It's more like a mutilated corpse. Chibnall, who appointed appointed the actress to replace Peter Capaldi after he was forced from the role, has been in charge of the BBC One series since 2017. Just think, folks, it took 54 years to build the show up, and it took only four years to destroy it beyond all recognition. It has not yet been announced who will take over from Whitaker in the leading role. No, but since this is still current year BBC, we can take a guess at the next form of abandoned diverse alien space baby. In 2017, I opened my glorious gift box, really, of size 13 shoes and kicked the show repeatedly in its happy place while shaming its fans for being fans before you decided to grace us with your presence. I could not have guessed the brilliant adventures, worlds, and wonders I was to see in them, and fans could never have guessed at the travesty that was right before them. Yeah, many were skeptical at the gender change, and many, including at least one former doctor, didn't like the idea at all because we believe the reasons behind the change appeared to be somewhat suspect. And man, if we only knew. She continued, My heart is so full of love for this show. How can you say that with a straight face? Actually, never mind. You're clearly only referring to your version of the show. For the talentless hacks hired merely by checkboxes, or sorry, the team who make it. For the fans who watch it, you mean only the fans that you approve of, the rest can just keel over and die. And for what it has brought to my life, well, at least you can say you'll never be forgotten, but probably not for the reasons you would hope. And I cannot thank Chris enough for entrusting me with his lecturing, pandering, hateful, or sorry, incredible, really, stories. Again, straight face. We knew that we wanted to ride this wave side by side, and up the ass of this show and its real fans, and pass on the baton together while shoving it further up the show's ass. So here we are, weeks away from rapping on the best job I've ever had. Destroying something so many loved is the best job you've ever had. Oh dear. I don't think I'll ever be able to express what this role has given me. A platform to spread hatred. I will carry the doctor and the lessons I've learned forever. I don't think you really learned much, and something tells me you already held these ideas. I know change can be scary, horrific in this case, and none of us know what's out there. A dead show. That's why we keep looking for new ways to crap on former fans. Travel hopefully. The universe will surprise you constantly in truly, truly horrific ways. For her final series, Whitaker will once again be joined by Mandeep Gill as Yaz, while her other two former co-stars, Jump from the Sinking Ship a while ago, and comedian John Bishop, somehow I doubt we'll be seeing much intentional comedy, unintentional, well, that's a different story, who will play a new character named Dan, the next straight white male whipping boy. 
The 13th Doctor's first episode in October 2018 was watched by 11.5 million viewers in the sci-fi drama's biggest audience for almost a decade, a number that was only achieved for the sake of curiosity, curiosity that would soon turn into abject horror. It was also the biggest show of that week, ahead of Strictly Come Dancing and The Great British Bake Off. Funny how they keep using stats from almost three years ago to claim that this horror show was a massive success. But the show's ratings have dropped in recent years. Really, you don't say. Whitaker's last episode, broadcast in January, attracted a consolidated audience of 6.3 million. And why was that, I wonder? While many have praised Whitaker's casting, some fans and critics have criticized the show's recent narrative direction. Actually, there was little praise beyond a few brainwashed ideologues, and criticizing the show might be a bit of an understatement. The Telegraph described recent episodes as flat, unworthy, and woke. So it was being kind then. Despite Whitaker's talent as an actress, citation needed please, while The Sun reported viewers were left furious by the show's unbearable political correctness. A fairly astute observation. One of the long-running drama's unique features has been regeneration, a concept that Chibs has rendered meaningless, where the Doctor completely changes their, of course, physical appearance, allowing the show to recast its lead role every few years, no longer based on actual demand, of course. They may be in trouble after more people cancel their license fees. Chibnall is currently writing and producing the next series of Abandoned Diverse Alien Space Baby, which will air later this year. I'm curious as to how badly this series is going to perform. I tend to think it will be a failure of apocalyptic proportions, unless the BBC somehow manages to doctor that number. No pun intended, because whatever the hell we've been watching for the past few years, it sure as hell isn't the doctor. It will be followed by three specials. I have no doubt they'll be special. The first of which will be broadcast on New Year's Day 2022, because Christmas was cancelled by the BBC a few years ago, with another later in spring 2022. Sure to be a raging success. Whitaker's final feature-length special, where the 100,000th abandoned diverse alien space baby will regenerate, will transmit in autumn 2022 as part of the BBC's centenary celebrations, possibly to be the last celebration considering how well the BBC is going down with the British public at the moment. Speculation will now turn to who Whitaker's replacement might be. Not really, as nobody cares. But as I said, I'm sure it will be diverse. As Doctor Who approaches its 60th anniversary in 2023, remember how excited everyone was for the 50th? Well, this time, we'll just be depressed. As well as introducing Whitaker as the first female abandoned diverse alien space baby, you don't say, Chibs also brought in Toes and Cole as Ryan, who always looked embarrassed to be there, Mandeep Gill, Yaz, who was so great that an addition wasn't even required, apparently, and Bradley Walsh Graham, the butt of many a joke for a couple of series. Episodes such as Rosa, Demons of the Punjab, and Spyfall thrilled audiences. No, they didn't. A few virtues signaled in their general direction, though, and netted the show to BAFTA must-see moment nominations. Must be seen to be believed. And the BAFTAs lost their credibility a while ago anyway, along with multiple national television awards, BAFTA Cymru, TV Choice, and Critics' Choice nominations. Well, as I've said, these things have little to do with being good or talent. In fact, I would argue that the more nominations your show gets, the more tediously painful and grating it is to sit through. In 2020, Whitaker was voted second most popular doctor of all time in a poll of 50,000 fans for the Radio Times, losing out to David Tennant. Yeah, nothing suspect there at all. Peter Capaldi, Tom Baker, nope, they ain't got nothing on this bag of hatred. Chibnall said, Jody and I made a three series and out pact with each other at the start of this once in a lifetime blast. So now our shift is done and we're handing back the TARDIS keys. Wait, didn't you say you had a five year plan for the show like a year ago? Strange that. Jody's magnificent, iconic doctor has exceeded all our high expectations. I guess the expectations weren't that high then. She's been the gold standard leading actor. I'm not even going to bother commenting on that. Shouldering the responsibility of being the first female abandoned diverse alien space baby, really, we didn't notice, with style, strength, and warmth, generosity, and humor. Again, I got nothing. He added, she captured the public imagination and continues to inspire adoration around the world. Really, what world would this be? As well as from everyone on the production, 
Well, we knew that, and I can't imagine working with a more inspiring doctor, so I'm not going to. And apparently, you couldn't imagine working with anyone else anyway. Look forward to upcoming videos where we marvel at the legacy of this iteration of the abandoned diverse alien space baby. And that's it for today. As always, everyone, thank you for watching, and have a great day.